evening and welcome to News 10 on My Fox 10. The Terre Haute City Council was scheduled to vote on a $70 million sewer bond tonight, but instead the administration withdrew the proposal. News 10's Heather Good spoke with city leaders about the change. She joins us now with continuing coverage. Past discussions over the $70 million bond proposal, at least during the city council meetings, has been heated. But instead of another two-hour discussion like last week, the mayor's administration withdrew the proposal. Terre Haute City Council President Karen Nasser says the votes were not there to pass the plan. The council was told the bond would be $42 million when they passed the sewer rate increase last year. The jump to 70 simply was not palatable to the council. At the end of the day, I have to be able to tell my constituents when we vote on a particular item why we voted that way, and I don't think uh, currently we were able to do that. Nasser says the administration will come back with a new plan in the fall. The city will issue the $15 million revenue bond the sanitary district has authority over to start the design process. Nasser says the administration has offered to have council members participate. The board also approved several measures, including a resolution to extend the temporary revolving loan for the redevelopment commission. That was approved in a 5-4 to four vote. The City of Council approved amendments to the Fire Prevention Code tonight. Now, Terre Haute Fire Safety officials will take the code to the Commission in Indianapolis for approval. According to officials, the ordinance includes a fee to businesses for an annual fire inspection. The money will be used to fund fire prevention efforts. The idea is to implement a user fee instead of burdening the taxpayer.